is up you guys welcome to my channel my name is Brenda and if you love all things home decor you're in the right place today I'm sharing with you guys my Christmas decor if you are looking for a very modern beautiful neutral and minimal Christmas aesthetic to help you decorate your home then make sure to keep on watching But of course, if you've never seen me before, hit that subscribe button, join the YouTube fam, turn on that notification bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and all of my oldies but goodies, welcome back. All right, you guys, I know it took me quite some time to get all of my Christmas decor together, but here it is. I can't wait to share with you guys my entire living room and where I got everything for the holidays. Remember, all the pieces will be linked down below in the description box. So if you see something you like, go ahead and pick it up for yourself. You still have time to deck out your home in Christmas. Christmas decor. This year I chose to go with a very modern, beautiful, minimal, neutral aesthetic for my Christmas decor. I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's just jump straight in. Okay, let's start with my bookshelves. I feel when you walk into my apartment, your eye just gravitates towards these bookshelves. So they're almost the center of attention here in my living room. So I wanted to make sure that I kept them very minimal yet festive at the same time. So let's start off with this one on this side. You guys can see that at the very top, I placed my beautiful Studio McGee bowl. That's one thing that I've been saying over and over in all of my holiday videos is that you don't have to put every single thing away. You can always incorporate your vases and your decor into your Christmas decor. So you can definitely leave that bowl out if you have it from Studio McGee at Target. You can fill it up with some pines if you want, some faux snow. There's so many ways that you can decorate that ball I absolutely love it and of course wood always brings in that warmth to your living room to your home in general so you want to make sure you incorporate just a little bit of wood here and there this ball garland I thought it was the perfect piece to add to my bookshelves I got it at CB2 it goes so good with my chandelier so I just I had to have it I will link it down below you can actually incorporate this ball garland onto your Christmas tree your console tables it doesn't necessarily have to go on a shelving but I thought it was so neat I thought it was so different so modern and I just I love it they also have it in a darker color but of course with my aesthetic I chose to keep it very neutral this year so I thought this was perfect those little Christmas trees I got from Target I love them Target did so good this year for the holidays I just I had to get my hands on a few of those guys so you will see a few of them throughout my home here and there of course my vases my driftwood you guys can choose to keep your vases out you don't have to put them all away I thought they looked really pretty incorporated into my Christmas decor you can choose to keep them bare or add some you know stems or whatever you want to your vases um, and then also down there you guys can see that I got this cute little gold Christmas tree I show I chose to stay away from gold this year for the holidays but I thought just bringing a little bit of gold was the perfect touch to my bookshelves and it just looks so good down there okay moving on to my second bookshelf I would say they are sister shelves I did use the same decor on both sides so feel free to do that when decorating your bookshelves if you have some in your living room you can make them look like twins if you'd like and use the exact same decor on both sides but you can also choose to you know decorate them different so I chose to use somewhat of the same pieces not exactly the same on the top shelf you guys can see that I did keep my simplicity coffee table book out with some cute little snowman I love those they were I think the first pieces I picked up as far as my Christmas decor, you can find them at Target. Next to that faux little pine tree, which I also got at Target. Below are these really beautiful modern Christmas trees, which are the exact same ones that I have over on this bookshelf, except I chose to group them in three this time. Always keep your decor in groups of twos and threes. It's just a lot more eye-pleasing that way. And then the same ball garland, which looks amazing on my bookshelf. You can actually choose to lay out the ball garland in different ways. Ways, but I thought it looked very festive the way that I laid it out. This pomegranate candle that I got from Target right below, I kept it very minimal as you guys can see. You can definitely add as many candles as you want to your bookshelves, as many coffee table but books, but I chose to just kept it very minimal. So I loved the pomegranate candle on its own. I did think about maybe placing it on top of a coffee table book. You can totally do that as well, but it's just, oh, it's such a great candle and it smells amazing. My driftwood, of course, that I have all year round, it just incorporates so perfectly here in my living room with my Studio McGee bowl and then this beautiful 
nutcracker that I have on my coffee table, which I will show you guys in a little bit. And then down below, I have my other bowl from Studio McGee as well that I got from Target. Actually, no, I don't even think it's Studio McGee. I think it's Project 62. You guys, it's been that long that I picked up these pieces, but you guys can see that I'm incorporating them into my Christmas decor. I just chose to add some pine cones to bring in that warmth of the holidays. And these pine cones, you guys, I got them at Home Depot and they're scented pine cones. So whoever sits here on this side of the sofa smells cinnamon because of those pine cones are scented. So you guys can see that I chose to keep both my bookshelves this year very minimal yet very festive at the same time. If you're trying to achieve that very beautiful modern aesthetic to your home or your apartment, keep your decor to a minimal, keep your decor very monochromatic and it's just less is always more. I love the way my bookshelves turned out. I can definitely choose to add more decor if I want to. Christmas is still here it's not going anywhere anytime soon so i will definitely be adding little things here and there of course keep you guys updated but for the most part i love how they turned out now my sofa oh i love this sofa for those of you guys who are just now stumbling upon my youtube channel this beautiful sofa is the camden sofa from cb2 it was such a good purchase and the sofa alone it's so beautiful on its own that i didn't want to take away from my sofa i know during this time of the year we could get carried away with those cute little christmas throw pillows that are pretty much everywhere but keep it to a minimal this year i actually chose to just add this cute little christmas tree pillow that i got from target it is pretty comfy i was laying down watching movies with my son and he got this one and he goes oh it's a pillow i think he thought it was just a little decor piece but it is pretty comfy it is hard at the bottom but i thought this was just so cute you guys sherpa was very trendy this year it was very much in and the fact that target jumped on this trend and made this cute little tree pillow i had to get my hands on it and then these beautiful pillows that i got from cb2 look so good here on my sofa they're just the perfect size you don't want to overdo it when it comes to the holidays maybe go and pick up yourself two at max three throw pillows for your sofa. You don't want it to feel too cluttered, especially if you're gonna be having friends and family over for the holidays. Keep it to a minimal. I actually just chose to throw this throw as well from Pottery Barn, which I showed with you guys not too long ago. It matched so perfect with my little throw pillow. And that is it. That's all that I chose to add here on my sofa. I kept it very minimal, very just neutral. I could have chose to add a pop of color, which you can definitely do if you have a living room like mine that's very very, you know, neutral and monochromatic, then yeah, go ahead and pick yourself up a pop of color and that will look just right. Right behind my sofa, you guys can see that I have this beautiful big mirror that is from West Elm. I've been having this mirror now for a little over a year as well. I used to have it laid out on the other side of my apartment, but this year I chose to put it behind my sofa. I felt that it just really opens up this space even more. And I just chose to add that beautiful wreath you guys see right there from CB2. I know I picked up a ton of CB2 Christmas decor this year, but they were just on and popping. They had all of the best pieces and I love it. I love that it's just so modern. It's so different. It's such a modern, modern touch on Christmas decor. I love how Christmas decor is just changing. It's getting better. <laughs> I don't get me wrong. I love the classic Christmas decor, but I just love all of these modern touches to Christmas that I saw everywhere this year. And this wreath is definitely something that I had never seen before. I had to have it in my home. I'm obsessed with it. I'll link it down below. You can also choose to hang it above your bed, in front of your door, on your closet, on your window. There's so many places you can hang this beautiful wreath on. Now, my coffee table, I won't lie to you guys, it was very challenging, especially because I feel like this year my style has changed a lot from last year. I would say that I'm a lot more minimal this year than last year. I try to keep it very clean and just very, just pleasing to the eye. I didn't want to overdo it when it came to my coffee table. So with that being said, I chose to keep it the exact same layout that I keep it all year round, except I added this really cute nutcracker that I got from Pottery Barn. This is a nutcracker that I'm telling you guys about that looked so good here because it just ties in so well with my driftwood and that bowl that I got. And I just thought it was perfect. And I just, I fell in love with it. Of course, 
when you think nutcracker you think christmas am i right so i placed it on top of my architectural digest coffee table book and i just i called it a day i thought it looked very very just chic and sophisticated and classy just on its own with of course my beautiful flower arrangement from trader joe's you guys i made that i ain't no florist but i thought it came out pretty good i used my beautiful classic white roses that i have all year round i did bring out those vases those vases are from west elm and pottery barn i've showed them here on my channel multiple times and I thought they looked really pretty here on my coffee table and of course all my flowers are also from Trader Joe's and I just thought it was that's it I thought it was just perfect chic very minimal just I loved it okay I loved how it looked and I can always choose to add a candle if you want I actually move that pomegranate candle that I have on my bookshelves to my coffee table almost every other day just so I can get the smell you know going around here throughout the day and just again adding your favorite candle on top of this book and next to this nutcracker it just gives me all the vibes and like i said you guys i just wanted to keep it very just clean and neat not overdo it and i love it it just looks very festive on its own the nutcracker says it all last but not least my console table you guys already saw my console table in my latest video i couldn't wait to share it with you guys it was definitely worth the wait i feel that it really brought in that modern touch that i was missing here in my living room i mean it's all very beautiful and modern already but this just kind of took it up a notch and i'm obsessed with it my console is from cb2 i will link it down below with my holiday decor this year again i chose to keep it very classy and sophisticated and very chic and i love the way that it turned out my coffee table books are the architectural digest book with the live beautiful book i felt that this book turned around with the pages showing it just looked so just cozy and these candles lit up it just it's all the vibe you guys i actually love that today is a gloomy day that we're filming this video because you guys can just see the coziness of my living room and this sphere is from cb2 which i've also shared in my latest video that bowl is from target i chose to fill it up with real garland this year but you can choose to go ahead and fill up any bowls that you have in your living room in your dining room wherever with some ornaments or faux snow with some pine cones as you guys saw on my bookshelves or like me with some garland and then right next to it i got my statue from home goods which i love i just it gives me all of the parisian vibes you guys if i could live in paris i would like i'm obsessed with everything paris and i felt that this console and just the decor just gave me those beautiful paris vibes during the holidays manifesting it that one year i will spend the christmas time out in paris but yeah i just i loved it i definitely got my inspiration from a lot of um, Parisian homes on Pinterest and I think I nailed it I really do and I just I love the way that it turned out I also have my candle holder from CB2 it is a beautiful knotted like knot candle holder and then my diptyque candle you guys i did forget to mention in the last video these candles are non-scented so you guys can see that i have all of them litted i can only smell the the diptyque candle because these are non-scented so just fyi if you guys are looking to pick these up from cb2 but i just i love it you guys keep your console table decor to a minimal just use your favorite pieces you guys can go ahead and check out my last video to see how i decorated my second console table in my dining room area which by the way Give this video a huge thumbs up right now if you guys want to continue to see more Christmas decor content. I know you guys absolutely love these types of videos, so go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. It really helps your girl out, and it lets more people see my home decor content so they can get inspired as well. But yeah, like I was saying, go ahead and check out my last video. You guys can get a different idea on how to decorate your console with my second console table. But um, yeah, I'll link these pieces down below if you guys are looking to decorate yours and my television. Nothing special, but I. I do have the fireplace going from Netflix. I thought it's just a cute little touch because I don't have an actual fireplace. So it just looks really good. The last piece I want to mention in today's video are these beautiful boucle chairs that I got from CB2 as well. If you're just finding me here on YouTube, you have to have these in your home. No questions asked, you guys. I am obsessed with these. I love them so much more during the holidays. I feel that they're very cozy. They just remind me of a huge teddy bear here in my living room. And again, Sherpa is in, you guys. I actually feel that Sherpa is a classic material that's not gonna go away anytime soon. And I'm just obsessed with these 
no questions asked. If you guys already have these and you wanna incorporate maybe a small little throw pillow or a blanket that will definitely bring in that Christmas coziness that you want in your living room. And that completes today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you can get a lot of inspiration from my living room to yours if you are looking to decorate very modern and beautiful and just keep it very aesthetic <laughs> then i hope you guys get a lot of inspiration from today's video i'm gonna go ahead and drink my chestnut praline latte don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the youtube fam let me know down below if you're done christmas decorating let me know guys because i am officially done make sure you guys turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next video which will be my dining room area i can't wait to show you guys my christmas tablescape and how i decorated my christmas tree until next time i hope you guys are staying safe happy holidays i'll catch you guys all in my next video bye Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.